Hey dads, are y'all looking for an electric corded lawnmower? I bought one. It's my first electric one a few months ago and during the summer and uh, it's been great for me. And I wanted to talk about that, that in today's video. But hi, for all the new people here, uh, this is Dad Reviews, hi, all the dads here. Um, if you guys are new here, you might wanna click that subscribe button because what I do on this channel is I give you the most authentic review that I can give you of the products that we have um, by not editing these videos. So you guys see in a full, uh, video without any editing so it feels uh, as authentic as I can be. And so in today's video I want to talk about this lawnmower right here. It's a cobalt uh, lawnmower. I'm going to link it up down in the description below. Um, it's a KM210 uh, and this is a, a corded so you can see the power cord running up to here and this is where you plug in right there. Um, Basically, you need to get yourself a long extension cord or a couple of extension cords. Make sure that your uh, the extension cord can handle it. Uh, I'll link up the ones if I can find them. I bought them a long time ago, but I'll link some up on down on Amazon that'll handle the amperage. But this is, uh, I believe, a 14 amp, uh, 120 volt uh, lawnmower. And I gotta say, man, this thing, it cuts. I'd say it works better than the gas lawnmower that I used to use, which wasn't much of a lawnmower, but it um, it would always, uh, you know, our grass would get a little high because <laughs> this dad doesn't like to mow the lawn that much, so the grass would get high, and I'd go over it with the gas-powered mower, and it would cut out on me because it was just too much clogging up in there and whatnot. It couldn't handle it. And then I roll over the same height grass with this thing. I mean, this thing just tears right through it. I was super impressed by it. Um, so the way it works is you plug it in, press the button, pull this thing back, and then that's what starts it up. And then you can release it to un, uh, to uh, turn it off. So it's got it's kind of like a safety feature, you know. If, if there's a uh, you know turns off whenever this thing is disengaged, there is a uh, tire what do you call that level so you can put pick the height you want for your grass just by moving this up and down which so i'm doing this one-handed so that shows you how easy it is right there super easy to use got some great big wheels on it too i really like the wheels um also i whenever i was looking at buying one i was searching on youtube about reviews for these and i saw another guy had uh, uh, I think it was a Craftsman maybe, and he was comparing it with his Cobalt, but he t in the video he said that the Craftsman was like 12 years old. And so if I can keep a lawnmower for 12 years, not have to ever buy gas for it, not have to ever do any maintenance on it with fuel and oil and uh, spark plugs and all that crap, I figured pay, I, I think I paid maybe $200 for this. I mean, I, I was filling up the gas can once every two weeks uh, with a gas-powered mower. I, easily, this thing comes ahead as far as price. And I think the power is just as good, if not better, than the gas-powered mower that I had. Now, I haven't, I've haven't. i never used a riding lawn mower before, so I don't know what that experience is like. I don't even know if they make plug-in riding lawn mowers. And the reason why I didn't go battery, lithium-ion battery, is because um, uh, I didn't want to have to change out the battery, even though they say they last longer and whatnot. The battery is what you're paying for in those, uh, in those, uh, lawnmowers. So I decided to go something more like this that plugs in. And what we do here is we have, uh, just a couple of extension cords right here that we keep tethered together. And, uh, this is what we use around the house to get around. Now, as far as like mowing with a cord in the way, it's really not that bad because what I do, watch, I'm gonna show y'all real quick. I'm not gonna pull out the cords and all that, but I'll give you all an idea. I plug in right here and then the cord drapes. Let me run all the way to about right here. And then what I do is I just start right here and I mow this way and then this way and then this way and then this way. And what that does is it always leaves the cord behind you so that you can never really uh, mow over it. And then the other thing is uh, the, probably the most uh, frustrating thing is whenever uh, you're mowing, you gotta remember to like step over the cord at certain parts so that uh, it doesn't come unplugged. And you gotta make sure you have enough cord to get into all sections of your yard. I usually have to plug in over, no, I think I go over here. 
and I'm able to get pretty much the entire backyard over there and then uh, in the front with lug in over there and we can do the entire front yard that way so um, it's really just a matter of moving the cord there's a certain spot that I get to uh, this way and then I have to go around my sheds right here to be able to get to the other side to get the rest of that over there that over there I guess I'm not really showing y'all <laughs> But uh, all in all, I really love this electric lawnmower, uh, corded lawnmower. Um, uh, what's y'all's experience with electric uh, lawnmowers? I'd love to know that down in the comments below. Have you ever used one before? Um, obviously, you've thought about using one because you're on this video. Um, I'd love to know, uh, you know, what your experience was there. Um, Again, the link is down in the description below if you care to check out uh, more reviews and uh, all that type of stuff. I usually, I think they, I sold that, I got that on Amazon or I found it on Amazon. So I know it's there. I'll link that up for you guys. Y'all can read some other reviews. But all in all, just a great lawnmower. There's two more videos on the screen there if you guys want to watch more videos from us. Uh, thank you guys for watching and dad out.